I have started running. I never thought <laughs> I'd be sitting here saying that, nor would I think I'd be sharing my journey certainly on YouTube, but it's been 10 years since being diagnosed with Crohn's disease, so I wanted to raise some money for the charity. So I've signed up for a 10 mile run. Now I'm someone that used to do a lot of running when I was younger. we have started to get into it a little bit more, but I never really had the motivation. I would kind of like do a 5K and a few of them and then kind of veer off track and not do it for a few months. So I just thought if I had a race, or I signed up to something, whether that be a 5k run, a 10k run, whatever it is that was my personal goal, then I'd have something to motivate me and push me, which is what I've done. So I've signed up for the Great South Run and I've bought myself some new bits. So I thought I'd do like a runner's starters kit. Now, I'm very aware that Lululemon is a more expensive brand and I definitely have stuff from Adenola and Gymshark, which are also great brands. However, I do find the quality in Lululemon is next to none for my preference. Yes, it is expensive and don't get me wrong, it's something that I've added to my collection over the last few months. It's certainly not something I'm able to just do a gigantic purchase on because it is expensive. However, they do now have Klarna and they didn't used to have Klarna, I think. I'm pretty sure they didn't used to have Klarna. I used to have to put it on my credit card, wait for the money to go back in. Whereas now they've got Klarna, you can order loads of different sizes and really get the right fit for you, which I feel like they nail, they really do well. So I'm gonna start with the clothing and then move on to the other little bits like trainers, headphones, vests and stuff that I'm gonna be using. Obviously this is personal choice. This is just stuff that I love and I feel good in when I run and I just I just feel like if you've got a nice little outfit to run and you just feel a bit more motivated to get up and get out. And trust me, I really struggle with that <laughs> for us Ladies, um, I feel like you need some good support. Now, I'm not a big chested woman. I'm like a size C. Again, I have some Adenola running bras and stuff, but I tend to find I have to wear a bra under my Adenola running bra, like sports bra, to kind of keep it a bit more secure. I've invested in two new Lululemon sports bras. Now, these are the Lululemon Energy Longline bras. And they are 48 pounds. I know it's a lot of money however i feel like once you've got one or two of them they'll probably last you a very very long time and they've got some gorgeous colors now this is in the color orange as you can see it's a very like vibrant orange and um, it's a cross back one which has got great support and it is a long line bra so it does come down doesn't just crop right underneath the boobs it goes a little bit further down which is what I kind of prefer especially with some high-waisted leggings it's got the lululemon logo at the back and I don't know I just I just think these offer me great support now this one I haven't actually run with yet but I do have it in pink which I'm about to show you and I have run with that one so I know the support is great I think these double extra straps that they've got on either side probably is what provides it the extra support to just make it feel quite snug. This orange one was actually in the sale as well. So sometimes they put like the less popular colors in the sale. I think I paid 32 pound for this one, which is still rather pricey for a sports bra, but like I said, it's great quality and will probably last. So I also have it in pink, as I said, very similar to the color jumper that I'm wearing. Again, this is the Lululemon Energy Longline Bra. I've got this in a size eight. I don't know, it's maybe like a bit more of a pinky lilac, but it's a really cute color. So now moving on to the running tops that I've got now, I'm gonna show you the pink one because it's got the tag on because I've just newly got this. But I've also got it in a blue so these are the swiftly tech short sleeve 2.0 race tops they are kind of like hip length i think they're right they come in two different lengths you can either have them proper cropped or a hip length i prefer a hip length i'm not really a girl that wants to walk around with my tummy out because i don't really have that figure so yeah these are gorgeous this is a hot i would say like a hot pink kind of color so i got this in a size eight again i think it's the us eight it's 58 pound now i bought these also in the shade blue which i've actually just gone on a run on this morning which is why i look like i do um but again this is kind of like a really fun again lovely summery color i just think these are beautiful colorways um i got them both in the exact same size i've already run in the blue one about five or six times it is wonderful however i have a running vest not that I'm necessarily running the distances to be wearing a vest yet, but I am trying to push myself up to the 10k mark now where I like to carry a water bottle around with me. So that's why I've got a vest. The only thing I'm starting to notice is the vest is obviously rubbing 
I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on the camera, but it's like rubbing on the chest area, obviously, because I've got the vest very tightly on me. It's just starting to fray, which I really want to be mindful of because, like I said, these tops are £58. They are not cheap. They are perfectly lightweight, that dry fit material, a beautiful fit. Again, I've got these in a size 8. And, yeah, I don't know. I said to my mum earlier, maybe I need to put, like, two bits of, like, kitchen roll in between the vest and the top just to, just to more so protect the top because I need the vest. So now moving on to some leggings that I've actually had for a while. So I got these in a size 8, and I would say I probably could have got them in a size 6. But you can see they're kind of like a leopard print detail long legging these are like the yoga pants i would say they probably aren't for running i know that they do offer this coloring this style in the wonder train legging which are specifically for running and if you go on the website they'll have like running yoga pilates kind of categories but i think whatever works best for you um i have run in these before but like i say i think i could probably have done with getting the next size down because i do feel like i have to sometimes just pull them up slightly but yeah i love the style of these i think these are great i often wear these with this like pink jumper i just think they're a really nice legging. The quality of them is just next level. They feel so, so soft. So now moving on to the legging, which um, is called the Wonder Train HR Tight. I got these in the length 28 and I've got them in a size 8. They are £88. I've got them just in a jet black. These are my first pair of these, actually. Now, these are the specific running ones. And if you notice in the waistband, they've got this, like pulley thing this is basically to hoist it in around your waist for you for it to stop like riding down so great support leggings um i'm really excited to try these out on a run i've not yet done so i think if i get on really well with these i'll probably buy these in a different colorway maybe next month or the month after but these are probably what i will race in um it's got the lululemon logo on the leg so now i'm going to move on to like the little extra bits that i'm kind of using so the headphones are the airpods they're quite generic headphones i would say i probably will in time invest in the ones that kind of wrap around your ear just for a bit of extra security i feel like if i smile or i say hello to someone as i'm running past if i like move my face sometimes these can like slightly fall out they just don't feel as secure for like running headphones but for now they do the job they work perfectly so another item that i wanted to invest in was some really really good anti kind of blister socks i think she's called jilly hicks socks but i've got see i've got a black pair on my feet right now so i'm not going to show you that because that's not going to be a very glamorous sight but I've got them also in white and blue. They've got like extra padding on the toe area and obviously in the back. These are just great. They also come up a little bit higher than a normal like ankle sock, I guess, just to give you a little bit more protection around your ankle on the trainer if it was to rub. I've only got two pairs of these and I'm finding because I'm running obviously way more frequently now in the week i could probably do with getting some more but i think i paid 15 pound for two pairs which i know is expensive but i definitely noticed the difference when i run in these than if i was to run in just like a normal nike sock but i'm sure there are loads of great anti-blister socks out there i'm sure you don't have to spend 15 quid on two pairs of socks but it's just a sock that i'm enjoying god what a sentence okay so the next item i'm gonna show you are my trainers now these trainers i've not had too long but they look they look like they need a rest bless them they need to go through the washing machine i've got the a6 gel kayano 30 i've got them just in a generic black with the white they've got really thick amount of gel in here obviously for support i've got really bad joints <laughs> which is just part of probably my age now and also having crohn's disease it's just it's just part and parcel of Crohn's disease, annoyingly. Um, so I just feel like investing in trainers is beneficial for anyone that's going to be running a, a decent amount of distance to protect your joints, to protect your knees, shin splints, your ankles, just to give you that bit of support. But yeah, they definitely need to go through the washing machine, but I highly recommend the A6 ones. But again, I understand a trainer is a complete personal preference choice and everybody is very differently and runs very differently now moving on to the vest and this is going to be my second to last item i got the solomon vest the advanced hydra vest and um, and it says number eight on the back 
This vest is wonderful. It's got your two pockets in here. It's got extra pockets there. It kind of does up like an M. If I've got a video, I will pop it on the screen for you here. Um, it's got another little zip pocket at the front there. These pockets are obviously for your water bottles. And then on the back, it has like a zip compartment, which I guess if you're running a mega distance and you want to carry like a waterproof with you or a hat or... I don't know, an extra pair of socks or an extra t-shirt or something, you could definitely put that all in the vest. Obviously for me right now, I'm not running that sort of distance where I need to shove stuff in the back. So I'm running around looking like a turtle because this thing kind of like sticks out a little bit. So I try and like tie this bit up to flatten it because it, it, I, I literally feel like I'm running around looking like a ninja turtle, but without the speed. But it's great that it has that. But this is probably for more advanced runners, but typical me, I wanted all the gear with no idea, didn't I? Like I said, the only thing that's annoying me at the moment is the rubbing on the front of my Lululemon tops. And that's mostly because the tops have cost me a lot of money and I don't want the fraying when I've literally had the tops a few weeks. So it does have like the mesh detail here, which is obviously what's rubbing on the top. It would have been really nice for, I don't know, just a bit of material personally to have been put on that to just have like a protective layer. But either way, it's probably gonna rub regardless. So that's everything I've got for my runner's starters kit. That's everything I would say you would need as a beginner. Obviously, I'm not saying you need to buy from Lululemon, but those are the products that I've gone with and I'm really enjoying them and I highly recommend them myself. Everything that I've mentioned I will list below. Thank you guys so much for watching and definitely hit subscribe to follow me on the running journey and pray for me that I complete this race. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>